to overview of Google Chrome and Safari on Mac and this is not a comparison between Google Chrome and Safari I'm going to share my experience and how I feel when I'm using Google Chrome and Safari on Mac so let's see well, first I open the Google Chrome going to the Google website then going to the Safari then there is the default com page is Google so let's see now I'm going to see what features are on Safari and what features are on Google and how easy easiness are on these two web browsers let's say the first things on the new Safari is that one is like the, the real useful integration is this one because if you want to tweet or email or send message or the one website you can just go in here to here and click this button then you can choose one option from this let's say I'm going to send email and that my email will be open yes and the web page will be into the message now and what I need to write I need to write the email email the person I'm going to send to then this page will be sent to that person so this will be the new feature on the Safari mm, I don't want to send now let's close this one now and here you can select other option as well the tweet you can tweet it but unfortunately I don't have account on Twitter so you can try it uh, here message I can even send a message for you I'm not logged on to that message sorry about that there's the one feature on Google I mean the Safari other feature on the Safari is the iCloud it actually shows the web pages on your other devices like if you opened web pages on other devices then the web pages will be displayed on here so this is another new feature on the new Safari uh, unfortunately I don't have no other Apple device so I'm not able, I'm not able to see any uh, web page on this iCloud so that's two new features in the new Safari and on another new features like I'm in the first Google let's say you want to go to the news but I just put a keyboard into the address bar news enter then the search term will be put into the default search engine and the search and it will be searched for you but it's already offered on Google Chrome but is new to the Safari so this is also one offer I mean one of the feature on Safari and other features like if you want to go back to the page like what you have to do is with your two fingers swap then you will go back to your page and if you want to call back, if you want to call forward, then you have to swap other way around, then you will get to the page. This is a new feature on Safari. And let's see now Google Chrome. Yeah, I'm on the Google website now. You know the Google also does like if you want to search anything, sorry, news, then you the search term will be put into the search default search engine and you will get the results so this is Google Chrome already had these features and then let's see the thing you can go back to the back to your page by swap but it's not much animation as in Safari but you will see some little arrow but it's still good you can swap it and 
the Google Chrome doesn't have so many of menus you can see just this one here you can have all you can access all the menus and the Safari as well it doesn't have so many but here you can see it shows all the downloads so it shows all the downloads so that isn't it's a Safari and we'll go back to the Google Chrome go to open a new tab then you have to click here and it will open new tab but in Safari there are some cool features like you open another tab yes and you go to the any website so you now you now have two tabs on your Safari web browser let's see if you want to minimize like if you pinch it you will see there you open two tabs and the web page you see through here is the live like if you playing any video the video will be playing here let me like see open YouTube and going to play any videos let's play this video and yes the video is playing now I'm going to pinch you see the video is actually playing you also can see what's on on the tab it's just doing that this is one of the cool feature on Safari so if you want to back you just need to click then you will be on that page see then you want to go back to the page just do that and do that and do that it is really cool the cool chrome as you can do but slightly a different animation for me I personally like the safari the new interface and new feature it is fast the Google Chrome also the fast browser but I've been using Google Chrome since it's released so after I see the new Safari I'm starting to like the Safari I will use Safari on Mac and for Windows definitely will recommend the Google Chrome is because it's very fast and you know then it is it doesn't have no menus much of menus it's a long address bar and you can also put such terms to that address bar to say something so pretty decent interface and you will have a lot of face to view the web page so I would recommend view Google Chrome on Windows and for Mac I like Safari but the Google Chrome also is best so for me it's my personal opinion that I like Safari depending on the person who use the computer so most of the people the Google Chrome is the one of the most popular web browser because of its speed and the interface so it really depends on person but Google Chrome and the Safari are the two best browsers and there are other browsers like Firefox Internet Explorer the Firefox also the one of the best Internet Explorer 9 is kind of good but I'm not going back to the Internet Explorer because I've been using Internet Explorer for a long time after the Google Chrome release I moved to the Google Chrome and I don't want to go back to the Internet Explorer but there are some new fee I mean there are new outlook in Inter Internet Explorer but personally I'm not going back to the Internet Explorer to try and see what how I feel on Internet Explorer but it's still good so this is my 
experience on Mac, how Google Chrome and Safari. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you if you like this video, please like this video. If you want to write any comments, please write it. Thank you very much for watching this video.